welcome back to the Vibrant Life channel. And today I wanted to talk about food prep. So I get asked a lot from clients, you know, how do I food prep? What's the right way? I mean, you know, we're all busy. We all got things going on. And I don't know about you, but I don't have time to, you know, spend hours prepping food, putting it in containers, labeling the containers, and, you know, putting it in the freezer or the fridge for the week. I don't have time for that. But what I do have time is, is preparing components of meals. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you, just kind of walk you through some of the things that I do. And I want to start with gadgets. So the first thing we have here is my air fryer. So this is the um, the Instapot Vortex Plus. There's no sponsorship here. I literally bought this. Um, and this is an air fryer and it has been a game changer. It just mixes things up. This is more of a um, oven type thing. So you can kind of see that there. It's not the one where it has the, you know, the thing at the top. But so I use an air fryer to prepare. I use a slow cooker. I don't have an Instapot. I know, shocker. Um, I don't have an Instapot. And the reason why I don't is because we already have a pressure cooker. I already have a slow cooker and a rice cooker. I'm not going to buy one more thing. But so I use my air fryer a lot. I use my slow cooker a lot. And shockingly enough, I use my toaster oven a lot. <laughs> to prepare. So some some tips. Obviously we want to use the gadgets that we have, right? But the first tip, easy peasy. If you're going to like bake chicken, don't bake like two chicken breasts or two chicken thighs. Do enough for the week. So prime example. So here's from, I don't know, a couple days ago. So this is a container. I actually baked up or air fried uh, two packages of chicken thighs, okay? Obviously, I'm not gonna eat two packages in that meal, but that gave me probably four to five more meals and I don't have to worry about it. So, if you're going to cook something, particularly a protein, double it up. It takes no extra time, right? So, go ahead and there's one food prep tip for you. So make double of what you were going to. Okay, so there's my chicken thighs. I love, this is probably lunch. Um, the other thing is prep veg. I know this isn't very exciting, but this is actually a container of broccoli that, for example, so when I come home from the grocery store, I prep my veg. Um, you know, it takes like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes to wash it up and break them down. Particularly like if I'm gonna have cauliflower or broccoli, I will cut them into florets, put them in a container, ready to go. Wash all the veg so it's ready to go. And then all I have to do is pull things out and then put components of a meal together. For example, like even sweet potatoes. Um, if I got a hankering for sweet potatoes for that week, I will roast up probably two or three sweet potatoes and then I don't have to do it for the rest of the week. You kind of feel me where I'm going with this is there's prepping of components of a meal. Now if you are preparing a meal and let's say you're going to do like rice bowls you know like you know brown rice with a protein and a veg and you want to have things put together you can pull all those components of a meal and use these handy dandy containers for like lunch or on the go, right? I love these. Um, I got these on Amazon. I'll link them down below. And they're great because not only are they freezer safe, they're microwave and dishwasher safe. So good find on these. And they got two compartments, so it's great for maybe a main meal and a side dish or a snack or something like that. So this has been very helpful. The other thing that I do is, and I don't do it all the time, but what I'll do is I will make my own dressings or dips or sauces. So for example, what I just did uh, yesterday exactly, actually, is I have this big container of a tahini dressing. So it's just tahini, um, apple cider vinegar, maple syrup, 
what is it, salt, pepper, and hot water to thin it out. So, I mean, this is a lot, but this is gonna be dressing for salads. This could be dips. This could be whatever I want it to be for the week. And then in this container, a smaller container, is my spicy peanut sauce, so which is actually made with almond butter. Um, but if you want, I will give the recipes for these two down below as well. And then my last tip is make sure that you're stocked. So for example, my pantry and my freezer, I probably do a haul with them mm, probably every six weeks for my pantry items. I love Thrive Market. Again, not sponsored. I just happen to absolutely love them. Um, it's an online organic grocery store and you get screaming deals. Like basically everything you could get at Whole Foods and but at up to 25% off sometimes, which is, hello. If you eat a certain way and you buy certain products all the time, great deal. Uh, and my freezer. So anything that I do buy freezer items, I try to stock up on them, particularly if they go on sale. So again, I can pull components of a meal together, maybe prep components of a meal quickly, have everything rare and to go. So if that's something that resonates with you, give it a whirl rather than doing a whole meal prep, do components of a meal, okay? Sound good? Hey, down in the comments below, let me know some of your tips. Share with the rest of us, what are you doing for your food prep and any tips and tricks that you may have. And while you're down there commenting, be sure to subscribe to my channel because as always, I always guarantee two videos a month. All right, everyone, have a great rest of your month, and I look forward to seeing you next month. Take care. Bye.